Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. So uh, previously we have discussed about the list of topics in anatomy and how to go about anatomy, how to read, uh, you know, uh, on a daily basis. Okay, so we have just uh, split. We have just seen the split out of anatomy, and in this video we are going to look about the list of topics to be covered in biochemistry. Okay, so biochemistry, if you see as such. You will have a, a very little or only a few MCQs from your basic guides, which you can finish it easily. But that doesn't mean you, you are well versed in biochemistry. Because biochemistry is as such a vast subject. It's, it is somewhat easy to understand, but it is volatile. It is very volatile like pharmacology. So constant revision is needed as far as biochemistry is concerned. So I'll give you a list of topics which you, you should have read at least once from the textbooks. And I will also give the number of MCQs given in your basic guides and we will correlate with the timetable framed by me and how many MCQs to read per day. Okay. So moving on to the uh, topics. So the first topic, it is going to be the, uh, the carbohydrates. Okay. So if you look at carbohydrates, you have to read about the monosaccharides, disaccharides, oligosaccharides, polysaccharides. So the polysaccharides, the mucopolysaccharides, the ground substances. You have to read about the proteoglycons, glycosaminoglycons, and glycoproteins, and also uh, you know you, you should uh, read about the uh, oxidation reduction reactions. Okay, so <clears throat> the next one is going to be the lipids. In the lipids, you have to read about the classification of lipids, the saturated and the unsaturated fatty acids, triacylglycerols, and then the iodine saponification and Reichert's numbers. And also the lipoproteins, what is LDL, what is HDL, what is VLDL and what is chylomicrons and what, what, what are their effects in our body. And also you should read a little bit about cholesterol. Okay. So once the lipid is done, you have to move to the proteins and amino acids. So in the proteins and amino acids, you should read about the classifications, the structure of the proteins, the primary, secondary, as well as the tertiary um, and quaternary structures and what are the bonds which are involved in it. And then the nucleic acids and the nucleotides, what are the base, sugars and the phosphate groups. And then the enzymes, a very important topic. In the enzymes, you should read about the classification of enzymes, Michaelis maintenance constant, inhibitions, the competitive, non-competitive, uh, uh, and uh, also the isoenzymes. The isoenzymes is your uh, lactate dehydrogenase. And once that is done, you have to read the commit to vitamins. So vitamins, fat soluble and water soluble as far as biochemistry is concerned, vitamins is very important. So you should read about the daily requirements, the source, mechanism of action, functions, hypervitaminosis and what happens in case of deficiencies. So next is the metabolism of carbohydrates. So in the metabolism of carbohydrates, if you see uh, most of the questions it will be revolving around the metabolism aspect. Okay. So in the carbohydrates, you would read about glycolysis, how many ATPs is generated in glycolysis, Krebs cycle, similarly, and then glucogenesis, uh, glycogenolysis, and glycogen storage disorders. It should be very thorough in each and every step of this cycle, as well as the key enzymes associated with these cycles. And then the lipids, lipids, you have to read about the fatty acid oxidation, beta oxidation of fatty acids, ketone bodies, cholesterol synthesis write and read write and read especially these cycles it will be very volatile and you know sometimes you might forget while uh, you know if, if you're not in touch with it in touch with it so in order to avoid that you write and you stick it in the walls so that you you see that on a daily day-to-day -day basis it will be very easy for you to remember next will be the amino acids you should read about the urea cycle and a few important amino acids like glycine philanonanine tyrosine tryptophan tryptophan and one carbon metabolisms okay and then the nucleotides so in the nucleotides you should read about the purine and permanent synthesis and also gout increase in the uric acid and minerals the micro and the macro minerals and then once this is done the water electrolyte and the acid balance so you should know about the metabolic acidosis metabolic alkalosis as sometimes case scenario questions might come from this and also how to maintain the blood ph and another very important aspect, the DNA replication, transcription and translation. And the next one is the insulin glucose homeostasis and diabetes mellitus. What are the functions of insulin and what are the, uh, you know, the effects of insulin on diabetes and glucose? 
So next one is the free radicals, antioxidants. You should know what are the free radicals and how come how it is over uh, how, or how come it is scavenged. And then the gene therapy and also the xenobiotics, the detoxification. Okay. So these are all the basic topics which you need to cover from the textbooks. Okay. So once this is done, you have to come to the pulse. Okay, or you go, you read the pulse and go to the textbook, whatever it may be. But our timetable, it is framed in such a way that you read both the pulse and the textbook on the same day to so that you know you are going to have a broad coverage. So in the pulse, if you see there are around nine, sorry, eight topics, leave the synopsis aspect. So there are around eight topics and uh, you know, there are around 455 MCQs. In my timetable, I have given around six to eight days for biochemistry. So 70 to 80 MCQs per day is more than enough if uh, more than enough for your basic science um, that is your basic guides MCQs. Meanwhile, apart from that, you should definitely read the previous year MCQs as well as these list of topics, the textbook topics. Okay, that is very important. Okay, so you will have more time to read the textbook as far as biochemistry is concerned because there is only less mcq in your basic guides and please make sure you highlight it you mark it you read that alone the next time you don't keep on reading the new things every time you read biochemistry once you have finished a textbook reading you are going to read only that for the rest of your uh, uh, you know the revision schedule so don't add up things on a day by day basis. Once the ski, once the plan of six to eight days of biochemistry is given, read as, as much as you can, mark, highlight, and repeat that again. Okay, whatever you have in front of you is more than enough. Okay, so if you want the image of it, just DM me to my Instagram page. I will send you. So these are all the list of topics to be read in biochemistry. Biochemistry is very volatile and revision is needed. So yes, thank you for watching this video. We will meet in the next video with another subject splitter. And thank you for watching this video. And if, if you find this video is helpful, please share with your friends. Cheers.